Thank you for joining me for our discussion about cloud migration. Uh, today we're just going to break uh, cloud migration down into uh, essentially two uh, areas or two questions that we're posing and uh, the first of which is what is a cloud migration and the second is what are the benefits to running your IT in the cloud. Uh, so the first question, uh, what is a cloud migration? Okay, essentially um, every business has a line of business application they run, maybe a special accounting program or business management software of some kind uh, that they run on-premise there, a lot of times network it, um, you know, uh, th these types of things can include uh, CRM programs, uh, you know, a variety number of, of software packages. And that, that's really not the important part. The important part is to focus on uh, the point that each business has uh, a, a specific set of programs uh, that they uh, need to run and, and uh, or network uh, with each other. And uh, so those set of applications are known as line of business applications. And uh, so we have those, and then we also have the data. Uh, the data is uh, what the end user would think of as uh, the contents of the My Documents folder, the, the videos and the pictures and all the stuff on the machine. Uh, and the IT administrator thinks of that, as well as uh, the databases that are out there for the, the line of business applications and then the, the email uh, and then you know, all of the other uh, things that, that may be on the network there. And so the point is you've got programs that you use to run, to run the business, and you've got the data. And uh, most of the time we put a server in, and you centralize everything there. You run the programs from the server, you access the data from the server, the server backs everything up, and so on and so forth. What a cloud migration does is it takes the on-premise server out of the equation. And it allows uh, you to no longer have to uh, purchase expensive server hardware. And that's sort of actually getting into more uh, of uh, the, uh, what are the benefits of running uh, IT in the cloud. But uh, let me kind of focus back on real quick, uh, what is a cloud migration? Okay, uh, a strict definition of what cloud migration is, is uh, the process of transitioning your data and applications uh, and services uh, from an on-site a server uh, to a cloud solution uh, where your information uh, and data can be accessed uh, on demand uh, you know, from anywhere as long as you've got an internet connection. Um, some of the first services to come out, uh, cloud services were probably like you know iCloud is, is, is one that comes to mind. Uh, so if you're familiar with how iCloud works, uh, it's, if you apply the same principle uh, to uh, not just your music and videos but all, you know, to all of your business data, uh, also to your, your applications so that you could run things remotely no matter where you're at even if you're on your vacation working from home or uh, just don't even want to have an office if maybe some businesses are completely virtual these days um, so what we're talking about is uh, moving all that stuff from your server on-premise uh, essentially to the cloud which is uh, a number of uh, uh, different servers and networking devices uh, sitting in a data center uh, that are all there to uh, do different things. Uh, so with the MDH Technologies Cloud, it would be, for example, we've got some things that take care of a spam filtering or an email for our customers. So we've got uh, remote application hosting. We've got a, a number of other things as well, but uh, those are the two, the two main things we're focusing on today in terms of uh, uh, putting things into the cloud. Uh, so the second question is, uh, what are the benefits of running your IT in the cloud? And uh, there are some very clear ones. Uh, there's uh, probably a whole lot more that we're not going to uh, list here, but uh, some of the some of the big ones is no longer having to purchase a uh, server. Well, if you're a business owner and you know that you have to, you know, pr purchase that small business server every, you know, three or four or five years, um, you don't have to do that anymore with, with uh, the cloud model. So that's going to save you roughly what five to ten thousand dollars per server every three to five years. And uh, that's uh, uh, that's pretty big to a lot of small businesses. Um, so that's just uh, uh, that much more you can put back into your pocket or reinvest into your company for something else uh, and expand your business. So that's that's a fantastic uh, aspect of cloud computing. Uh, and the second thing that I'll kind of touch on is uh, the ability to be able to run your uh, applications from anywhere and uh, being able to access your data from anywhere. And I'm even talking about a lot of times uh, even mobile devices like iPads and iPhones. Uh, it's certainly anything with an internet connection, so you can do anything. So you can do it web-based. Uh, now, if you need to run your programs, if you need to run that 
um, you know, that, that special line of business application that you use uh, from the house or from the hotel, um, you know, when you're on vacation in Hawaii or something, uh, you can do that. Uh, so uh, rem remote app is, is, is a fantastic way to do that in the cloud um, and, um, your, and share your data and your applications as well. Uh, so uh, cloud computing is a green choice. Uh, it's, it's probably the, the most uh, green that you can be in IT uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the footprint that it has on the environment. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times uh, things in a cloud environment are virtualized. Uh, so that you can compact more uh, servers and more uh, information and in, in things into uh, a smaller uh, uh, footprint in the data center using a less electricity and, and so on and so forth. So that's also uh, another, another great aspect of it. And uh, since cloud solutions are extremely flexible, uh, you can really say they're elastic. Uh, you can grow very quickly with the cloud. So if you need to hire one more person, obviously no problem. Uh, you can provision services for another person very easily. Uh, if you need to provision them for 100 people or 200 people, uh, it really it's uh, the same process. And uh, as long as uh, the capacity is there in the data center and in the cloud, which uh, most certainly there almost always should be, uh, you can grow very quickly. Uh, so that, that that's another great uh, aspect of cloud computing. Uh, some of the uh, previous products uh, that small businesses were using a uh, small business server, for example, would uh, limit you to the number of users you could have. So at some point you would outgrow the small business server uh, model and then you would have to uh, piecemeal each uh, thing individually and then uh, really get hit hard by licensing fees. So with the cloud model, uh, a lot of that stuff is, is, is avoided. Um, and uh, so not having to worry about hardware, not having to purchase hardware, uh, having a, a flexible environment that you could grow rapidly, uh, being able to run your business applications and access your data from anywhere uh, are all fantastic uh, aspects of cloud computing and uh, really the primary reasons that uh, a lot of businesses have gone that direction. And uh, finally, we're able to offer these types of things to small businesses. Uh, usually, it wasn't uh, fiscally, respons uh, or fiscally responsible to do so or uh, actually even uh, financially possible uh, for a lot of small businesses to uh, get involved in cloud computing. Um, prior to uh, really just, I guess, uh, the release of Server 2008 and just recently the Server two, uh, 2012, um, which has made it more affordable and, and more uh, cost-effective for uh, small businesses to get into the cloud. Uh, for more information about cloud computing, uh, we'd uh, like to hear from you and uh, discuss uh, what your needs might be and fit you with a solution. Please feel free to visit our website, mdhtech.com. Or contact me directly, Matt Hun, at 972-800-9011, or email me at matt at mdhtech.com. Thank you for joining us and uh, taking some time out of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.